Parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. We are to find the equation of the line in slope-intercept form that passes through the point 2, negative 3 and is perpendicular to the line 1 4th x minus 1 3rd y equals 1 6th. Now in order for us to find the equation of a line, we need two things. We need a point and the slope. And it's nice if that point is the y-intercept. Doesn't have to be, but it could be. If it was, then we could use the y equals mx plus b form for the equation of a line. And we're supposed to do that. We're supposed to find the equation of this line in slope-intercept form. What we know is that our line will be perpendicular to the line 1 4th x minus 1 3rd y equals 1 6th. So we'll begin by finding the slope of this line. And we'll do that by solving for y. We could multiply both sides by 12. That would make it pretty convenient because we could cancel all of the fractions if we did that. So we'd have 3x minus 4y equals 2. Now we could subtract 3x from both sides. And we would have minus 4y equals minus 3x plus 2. Then divide both sides by minus 4. And we'll wind up with y equals 3 fourths x minus 1 half. With a problem like this, it can be pretty handy to graph this line so we can get a visual of what we're working with. This line has a y-intercept of minus 1 half. And then it has a slope of 3 fourths. So I would go up 3, so from minus a half, that would be up to a half, 3 halves, 5 halves, and then to the right 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have a dot here. So we have the line then that passes through the dots, 0 minus a half, and 4, 5 halves. So we can draw the line then that goes through these two dots and then draw the line that we're supposed to find. We know that the line that we're supposed to find is perpendicular to this line. So that means then that its slope will be the opposite reciprocal of the slope for this line that we've just found, and that slope is 3 fourths. So the slope of this line, the first line is 3 fourths. We're supposed to find the equation of the line that's perpendicular to that one, which means that its slope would be minus 4 thirds. And this little symbol here sometimes is used in the subscript of the slope m in order to show we're talking about a line that is perpendicular to the first one. So the first line had a slope of 3 fourths. We want a line that is perpendicular to that one, so its slope will be an opposite reciprocal, so in other words, we'll flip it over and give it the opposite sign. The other thing that we know is that it passes through the point 2 minus 3. So we can put a dot at 2 minus 3 and then use that slope, minus 4 thirds, which can also be expressed as 4 over minus 3, so in other words, up 4, and to the left, 3. So we would go up 4 and to the left, 3. And then draw the line that goes through these two dots. And this then would be the line that is perpendicular to the first line. In other words, they should meet at right angles. Now, using this form that we're familiar with, y equals mx plus b, 
we have an ordered pair, we call it x, y, that satisfies this equation, and we have a slope, minus 4 thirds, so we'll plug in minus 3 for y, minus 4 thirds for m, and then 2 for x, and solve for b. So we have minus 3 equals minus 8 thirds plus b. We'll add 8 thirds to both sides. And if we do that, we'll have to turn minus 3 into minus 9 thirds plus 8 thirds equals b. So b is going to be minus 1 third. And that seems reasonable. It looks like that line might cross the y-axis at minus a third. So the equation of the line that we were looking for turns out to be y equals minus 4 thirds x mx plus b, so minus a third.